Hello everybody, this is Frogman and welcome to a brand new modded Minecraft series on the channel. Yes, this is what we're going to be replacing Serious Engineering with for now. It is a mod pack called Levitated. And the basic premise behind Levitated is that there is a story and we can read it uh, from the Curse Forge page. The overworld has collapsed and so has the nether. Will you struggle in the end while the doomsday clock is ticking away? Or abandon this forsaken place and find a new home? Or will you uncover the story behind the great collapse and rebuild your beloved homestead? Make your choice in this exploration Skyblock Mixed Mod Pack. Uh, basically what this is going to be is we're going to play a kind of a skyblock type-ish thing. It's more of a sky world pack that starts in the end and we get to play with various additional biomes that are added by a few of the mods that come into the system. So they're kind of a neat little fun toy to do. Um, we're going to have all kinds of neat things we're going to do. I think and eventually, eventually we'll be able to actually rebuild each of the uh, dimensions that we see fit. And we, I think we even get to play around on some of the planets too. So this uh, pack does use advancements instead of BQM. And I'm sorry, I do enjoy this menu. This, this, this start page has had quite a bit of work done to it. It's awesome. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start a new world. So, of course, we're going to just do the normal thing, just let's play, because, you know, that's what we do. And we'll put a world on the end of it this time so I can actually see what's going on. But yes, this is a mod pack um, basically going to be based around trying to move from one dimension to another. It kind of is going to have a quite a bit of uh, magic in it, and is going to have some... Well, technology, we're going to have all the, the normal everyday te uh, technology packs. Plus, again, it's it's gated. There's going to be gated progression through the advancements, meaning the Minecraft advancements, and we're going to be able to move through the various dimensions in the world. So we're going to start out again in the end, which is going to be interesting because I almost fell in the void. Let's uh, Let's move over a little bit here. And open our interfaces up. And where are my eyeballs? That's not cool. Let me put this over here so that we don't have a problem. And just kind of take a stock of where we are. So um, we actually have a... where We're, so we're going to be using the advancements tab to kind of move our way through things. So we're going to be able to kind of... This is just... This is our quest book. This is how we play things. And this is how some of the, uh, the things go. So there's multiple mods. I'm not going to go through the majority of them at this point. But we have quite a few things that we're going to do. There's special generated structures. That is not a normal um, end city. That is a modified end city, I believe, from the... The, the mod that is going to be down here taking care of our processing. So let me just kick over here and get this found. I need to close another window now that I don't need to read this. Uh, go away, please. All right, cool. But yes, what we need to do is we need to kind of move around, and this is not an absolutely great spawn because I have to get over there or over there to start. So first thing I guess is let's look at our advancements because we do have an advancement I think we can do at this point. So we're looking at, we're just basically going to walk through this one. You fall, fell into the end, you entered the end gateway by accident. Good for you because you can avoid the dragon as long as you want. Yes, we're... There's the gateway. There's the gateway. That's where we would normally go through into, you know, that, that's that's how you get back to the main island. So the main island is wherever the main island is at this point. Uh, probably going to be... Probably, who knows? We'll, we'll have to take a look anyway. I do need to mark that thing just in case. So let's see, because uh, we're going to be moving away from here. Because I don't think I can enter Pearl over there. And I don't think we're going to get enough blockages out of this island where we're at right now. Well, we might be able to to be able to do any kind of work. So I really would like to be over there or over there, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get to it. So first thing again is there's a quest that asked me to pick up one of these things. So we got that. All right, cool. There's no rewards as far as quests go, and we're going to have to do a few things. So yeah, fragments of the world, every, every, every ender, tell blah, blah, blah. Let's see, break an ender lily plant to get the ender lily seed. This is how we're going to be able to get uh, ender pearls over time. Fragments of the world is something that we can do, um, which is going to be right here, which basically I need to punch Edstone until I get some fragments. 
And I've kind of already played a little bit of the pack just to make sure that the settings are right and to get a kind of an idea of what's going on. So we do need a few of these. So let's get a couple more of these here very quickly because we're going to get off this island. Unfortunately, we're probably going to lose all of this area because we're going to be getting off of this island. But I want to make sure I have a few of these at this point. Now, here's the neat thing. It's, the next quest is going to be helping us get out of this area. So we're going to go ahead and look at the next quest. The Pearls of Chaos. If the land near you seems too lifeless, try warping to another place using a Chaos Pearl. So we're going to craft a Chaos Pearl. Because that's the easiest way off of this island. So I'm going to make one of those. At this point, this is something I did test because the two or three test worlds I had out of the two or three test worlds that I played, one of them ended up with me on one of these islands. Now, uh, you can jump into the void and it will continuously respawn you. It has the, the fall through the void mod in it or whatever that one's called for normal skyblock. And you can eventually work your way over there. But by the time you get over there, you're going to die and you're going to respawn back over here. So that's not what I want to do at this point. So uh, you'd work up enough to, you'd work up enough velocity that you'll just die. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this chaos pearl, and it is going to teleport us somewhere else, hopefully a little bit nicer. So let's go. Uh oh, we're going to fall. I don't want to fall. Crap! I knew that was going to happen. We're going to fall through again. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I get this without dying, please? Thank goodness. All right. Cool, we're on the overworld, we're on the land. This right here is a very important pearl. That pearl is going to take us back to wherever that thing was, way over there. So, ouch, that's actually a long ways away. We may have to find another one. But yes, we're messing around with the, I forget what this exactly is called. Let's, let's, let's harvest one of these and we take a look. Oh yeah, that's right, I can't harvest it yes, but yet because I don't have the tools. But we're at least on the mainland. We do have uh, a couple of structures that we can look at. I try not to look at the Enderman while you're at it, dummy. And let's read some more of these quests. So we made it back to here. Now they want us to go find a chorus fruit. So let's go ahead and find some food because that's going to be our food source. There are many different types of ores readily available in the end, so we're going to be able to do things. And I'm going to spend a little bit of time kind of looking down so that uh, I don't get nailed by one of these Endermen, but we do need some food. Where is the nearest chorus plant that's got a lot of stuff on it? That one's pretty good. Yeah? Okay, cool. Now I'm going to just break the bottom of these for now because we need the food. Eventually I will worry about getting the uh, the 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 fruits or the flowers so that we can actually do something with it. But we need a little bit of food so that we can heal up the fall that we took. And we're going to have to sit there and deal with listening to all these stinking Endermen the whole time. But that's okay. So we're fine. All right. And, of course, chorus fruit, dink, you teleport when you eat one. So it's kind of fun. All right. Let's see. What did we get there? That should have got us to there. And then we're going to have to get a, a chorus flower. We're going to worry about the chorus flower later. All right. So we've got shards of endstone. Now we need to try to figure out a way to get some wood. And if you try to break wood from these trees without having a piece of endstone and shard in your hand, you will not get the you will not get the wood. So if we hit it with a piece of end stone shard, we're going to get planks. So we need to get a bunch of planks and a bunch of wood so that we can start into getting a few tools. So I need a bunch of this. And I need one of those. That's good. Oh, nothing like listening to Enderman. Can we, for the minute, just not have to deal with you guys, please? Thank you. I want to kind of try to keep it on because I don't want to be getting into any of the uh, <laughs> trouble that will be if I accidentally look at one. I won't hear it. So, but yes, I, I kind of saw this mod pack several months ago. I think it was sometime around September or so that I saw it. Uh, and... You know, there's various people that have been uh, playing it on YouTubes and on Twitches and whatnot, so I figured it sounded like something that would be right up my alley as far as goofiness is concerned because it starts you with a bit of magic and a bit of exploration. There's actually quite a bit of exploration in this pack. We're going to have to go quite a ways to do a lot of things, so it's going to be kind of interesting. 
but it does have several of my favorite mods in it as far as magic is concerned. We've got Batania. Um, there's a wizardry mod that I have no idea what the heck that is. So that's, I think, actually what's causing... This is Stygian, Stygian mod, something, whatever. As soon as we can dig some of this up, we'll be able to see it. But, like, this is from, yeah, the Stygian end. That's the mod that's causing all of the blue or the purple and the weird trees to grow and some of the structures that we're getting. So, cool. All right, so we should be able to now do a little bit of work by creating some work essentials. We need a tool station to craft tools, made of endstone, of course, craft tool station, and all of the things. So there we do have Tinkers. Tinkers is in this pack, and that's the direction we're going to be going as far as tools for a little while. So let's go ahead and do the thing, which I think I have enough of this now. No, we need to get a little bit more endstone. Because in order to craft a crafting table, where is it? In order to craft a crafting station or a crafting station or a crafting bench or anything like that, we need endstone bricks. And the only way to get endstone bricks is to recraft this back into endstone. So we need a few more pieces of this. I guess I should have been doing this already instead of beating endstone with my hand. I love it. At least there is a kind of an interesting way. And as like I said, there's a, there's a very simple, easy progression to the beginning of this, which is just you got to gather a few resources up. And make a few things. We need about four pieces of this at this point. Which I think if I'm lucky, maybe. Thank you. Excellent. Cool. So there's our four pieces of endstone. There's our four pieces of endstone bricks. And if I do this and this, we're going to need two of them. Actually, I need these. We need two of these. One and two. Oh, come on. Go back down here. Two of these, please. And we'll make one of those into a crafting station. And for right now, we'll just put this down. I, I do kind of want to eventually move towards the, probably that house right there. But for right now, let's just get geared up. So we need to be able to do the normal thing. So we need to make a few patterns. And we'll just do that for now. And of course, we need to do a tool station. We need to make a, a stencil table. And we need to make a part builder cool so now we should be able to at least make some tools part builder and stencil table and we're just going to put those in there i need a pickaxe head i need an axe head i need a binding pattern and i need a stick pattern thank you excellent um for now we're going to go ahead and just craft a let's see i need a stick pattern we need a wooden tool rod for the minute and i would like i don't think i can do that no, we need a little bit more. That's fine. We're going to be wasting a little bit of wood for the second just because we need to be able to mine that stuff a little faster than what we were getting. So let's grab some of this and we will build the first Tinker's Tool, which is going to be a, a really cruddy a wooden pickaxe because that's faster than mining normally. And then I'm going to do the immediate thing of upgrade. Where did it go? Hey, over here. Immediate thing of upgrading that to a stone pickaxe. And nope, out, in, go, there we go. All right, so now we get a little bit of stuff quicker. Then we're going to make us an axe, cut a few trees down, and move our way along through this pack just a little bit. Okay, that should be enough of that. Give me you, thank you very much. Let's make us an axe head. So a one axe head, and then we're going to go ahead and make two of these because that will get us a little bit more durability. And as always, I try to tend to use at least a one piece of a wood on some of these tools because it will naturally regrow itself. So we do this, this, and that. There's a nice axe. And we can do this, put a new binding on it, get a little bit more durability out of it. It's not the greatest durability in the world, but they'll at least work for the minute. All right, so let's look at our little achievement line. We now have all of this stuff. The next thing it wants us to do is make a micro smeltery, which a micro smeltery is nothing more than a furnace made out of endstone. So let's make a furnace made out of endstone. If I can manage to make a furnace made out of endstone. Cool, there we go. Not that I'm going to need it right now. I'm going to have to change the advancement button too to something that I'm a little bit more familiar with with this kind of a deal. But now we're going to be playing around with other things 
and stuff. So we're going to actually have to start looking for various materials. So like we're going to have to start looking for a mana list pool or mana pool or mana. Basically, it's pooled up mana, mana that's fallen into the world. We're going to have to find some of that. We need to get a few other little things going. And I need to go ahead and pick all this up because I think we're going to move away from here very quickly. Grab all of my parts. I'm going to grab a little bit more wood since we're right here. And we're going to move towards some of these buildings already that we've already found. Now, I'm not going to go towards that end city because that end city is death at this point. That's, that's, that's death at this point. Um, we need to get our tools aligned out the way we want our tools to be, but that's good. So, all right, grab a little bit of this copper. Thank you. That'll give us an advancement that should open up some interesting things. We'll go look at that really quick. We're going to grab some of this, mainly just because this is going to be things that we're going to need eventually. Now, we can craft vanilla tools once we get to that point, and it's probably going to be something we're probably going to be doing because of the fact that in order to be able to do anything with tinkers past end stone or wood, we need a smeltery, which I'm not interested in trying to figure out how to craft a smeltery at this point, but this will at least get us started. So, a little bit more wood, and then we're going to move on. Cool. How much is that? Get one more. Ah, that's the other thing. Hello. Uh-oh. Cool. Got it. Uh, yeah, when you mine this wood, occasionally an endermite might spawn, so that's really fun. All right, we need to go over there and keep our eyes open for some of the other stuff around. So, I don't need any more ender pearls, and I think we've got enough end stone at the moment. Try not to look at the endermen. Yes, there are these little bitty kinds of buildings that are scattered around all over the place that are enticing you to supposed to go do things. And this is a Batania building. So this Batania building is going to have a few parts and pieces in it for us. So we're going to go ahead and clear up the mess. It comes preset with a pure daisy, so we don't have to make that. And a mana pool, which is nice. And a chest, which awesome excellent that's good that's that's very good that means we can actually do a few things so for the time being we're going to set up in here for now this is where we're going to be because it's a reasonably safe place to go and i'm going to move you like right there and i'm going to break that chest nice wonderful pink chest where is it at there it is okay cool can i make another one of those maybe Yep, another pink chest. Great, wonderful. That way we get a few things going. All right, that can all go away. That's great. This thing, very important. We don't want to lose it. And we're going to set up a furnace over here, I guess. That works for me. And put that light up there so we can see what's going on. And I'm just going to toss these in here for now. Yes, I know I can do other things with them. Now, this is a couple of other more interesting things here. So let's go ahead and put this away, this way, this away, and this away. Since I cannot, and I'm kind of not really wanting to do that right now. Since I cannot craft a bed at this point in time, I'm capable of setting my spawn to this area. But I think for right now, what we're going to do, actually, I shouldn't have, well, we'll just go find some food. I think for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to spend a little bit of time going out here wandering around collecting some food I think and then we can kind of move on so let me get situated a little bit and I will be back with you guys once we get ready to start moving on to the next thing so I'm gonna gather some wood and some food and some end stone Okay, I think we can go back upstairs and go do a little bit of looking around. I Basically, what I did is I just kind of started digging down because I wanted some end stone, and I figured we were going to need to be able to make a mine shaft eventually. So this just kind of gets you an idea of what's going on here. Uh, these are, of course, the normal, pretty much spawned out end islands. They're huge for the most part, but ores are scattered all the way through them. So that's some of the other things that we're going to have to be looking at for, or definitely the only way we're going to be able to get anything is is to wander around and hit a few of these spots up. So we're actually going to have to do a bit of mining and do a little bit of looking around and cleaning things up. Yes, it's an actual honest to God, yeah, got to go mine, mine, mod pack kind of thing. So let's go inside here and take a look at a couple of the other things that I have managed to accumulate over the period. So the ore resources, there's a little, again, advancement line in here that tells you where you can find something. So uh, iron and endstone, this is all iron, gold, remnants of life. Well, you wouldn't be able to find coal and regular and buy 
biomes there might be some left in the Stygian growth biome where there's still some form of plant life. Diamonds, we're going to have to go somewhere else to find that. That's going to be in a different uh, biome entirely. Actually, I think if we, when we first spawned in, it was the very, very purpley, nasty looking thing with the volcano looking um, mountains in it. And of course, copper, which is available pretty much right here. So I did manage to find a little bit of lead and a lot of copper and some in stone, a little bit of gold, a little bit of iron, not a whole lot, and a little bit of coal. So I'm um, not really concerned about those at this point. I just wanted to make sure that we got that sorted and teleport. You got to be really careful where you do this because it could just teleport you right off the edge. <laughs> so that's hilarious. All right, so we've got a little bit of stuff. I got a little bit of materials. That's what I wanted. So let's look at the next thing that we can do, which is going to be we need to start looking at some of this. Now, I didn't find any of the pools, so that means we're going to have to start doing things with several things. So we need to obtain a mana pool and work our way through some of these areas. Um, I think the biggest problem is going to be actually what am I doing? The mana pools right there. Go. Bang. Thank you. There is our nice Lexica Batania, which is very cool. We're done, at least on that part. Great, wonderful. Get it over with. Excellent. That should go down through here. So now we're going to need to be and make a little bit of pure, 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 pure. What am I saying? Living wood, living rock. I believe we've already done that because there was some here already. So yes, we have a living wood and a living rock, which that should have covered those. Let's make sure those are clear. All right, now, this is where I was kind of trying to get towards because I do want to be able to make a little bit of some of this other stuff. So let's cook up. Where is the iron that we got? We got a few of those. So one plus one is this. And that is going there. And two, we already had it on us. Do not have tiny coal. Not cool. That's all right. We're going to be trying to save on, on a few of our things. So we'll put all this away, put the wood away, put the copper away, put the end stone away. And I guess I don't really need that right now. And we're going to go ahead and let that cook so we can get a bucket. Because we need to be able to do a, this direction as well. So I don't think there's anything we can do right now. We need to be able to do the mana discussion, all that kind of stuff. We're actually kind of at a problem where we need water. So... Stygian acid found in the acidic biomes is sure harmful, but with the proper tinkering, it can be purified into water. This is not the old world, so infinite water does not come easy. That's not awesome. Come on. Holy cow. That should have already cooked by now. You're not cooking unless I'm looking at you. Great. Give me that. Let's make a bucket. And let's go see if we can find two of those things. So you're going to continue to do what we, you need to do. We, you, you need to do. I do have a little bit of teeny tiny amount of food on me. And let's go see if we can find one of those pools of mana laying around. I mean, I guess I could cheat. Is there any clothes? Where are we? We need to go that way. I think I already found these. We were over here digging. There we go. Can I get down there without making a mess out of everything? No, I don't want you doing that. Get out of there. Ow, I know. All right, so let's get us a bucket. Now, that got us the thing, and this is from Wizardry, so that's really interesting. So it's a mod I've never played with. Um, dropping a coarse flower in a pool of mana surprisingly calcifies it into bone block now that you can have the flowers at home. Okay, well, I think since we're standing here, we'll just put that back, and that's why I have a chorus flower on me. Uh, I think that'll work. That's pretty cool. Now we got our tiny bone, which is going to get us a... Yeah, you got to be careful with falling into this stuff. It'll let you... If you stay in it long enough, it should make you float upwards eventually. That's what this is, although it's not doing it for some odd reason right now. Okay, so we've got that. We've got this part. Now we need to be able to do a... Craft a floral fertilizer, which is going to be a royal pain because of the fact that we need to be able to make certain things first. So let's run back over to the house. A 
I may have to make a tank and go collect a bunch of that puddle up because we're going to need it for other things. All right, I need to move you out of the way. And I think we may have enough flowers at this point to do this. I got two of these. I got a little bit of wood. Let's see if we can't craft a little bit of floral fertilizer. Uh, we're going to need a bowl and a, a mortar and a pestle so that we can get the most out of these two flowers that we have. Actually, I got to do this the correct way. Do that and that. Okay, so we should be able to do this. And if I get this out of here and unpack that, we'll get a little bit of bone meal. Now, there are ways of doing this, but this is the quickest way. If you can find a flower and you can craft the floral fertilizer, that's quicker than trying to find flowers or wasting bone meal on grass like this. Because then all I got to do is go bunk. And that's why I wanted one of these houses. So now I have access to all of the flowers that exist. So that should have gotten us a deal here. We're going to be working towards this thing. This is where the problem is. We're going to have to be able to go find a bucket of this wonderful, nasty acid things, which is why I brought one of these other buckets home. But that's cool. We have the ability to make a few things. I'm going to put you right there, put you over here. And let's see. I want to put that outside. Ow. Somewhere. Let's see. We'll put you right there for now that thing because I don't want it to accidentally calcify into something else. Is there any of those biomes close to us right now? I have no clue. Can I make a tank of that stuff? What do we have for tanks? Do we have portable tanks? We have redstone. I'm going to have to go get some redstone. Um, all of the ores, more or less, as far as everything except diamonds, will be spawning in these this biome. So you should just be able to set regular old Minecraft mine underneath everything and find it. So we're going to have to find some redstone. Which I'm not going to be able to do right now. Um, the, the, he, he, we're going to have to take a look around. So, let's see. What can we do while we're here? Because of the amount of time we may have left on this episode is getting a little bit close. So, let's look at our advancement page. Uh, can I make one of those things? Um, a waystone. Is a warp stone, which is a mana diamond. No, we can't make any of those just yet either. What else can we do? Is there anything we can do? Nature's way, uh, nature's compass. Compass, 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 that compass. Nope, still can't make that either. So we're going to have to get into Batania, which means I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time between now and the next episode doing some accumulation of some of these things and stuff and getting some resources that we need and not looking at an Enderman. So that'd be great because I really can't defend myself right now. And yeah, we're going to have to go on. So hopefully you guys are excited about this. I'm really looking forward to playing this pack. I did kind of play around with it for a little bit, just a few hours, just kind of messing around. And it's, it's definitely going to be kind of interesting and definitely on the line of where I kind of want to go with mod packs for a while, just to be kind of goofy, random, not normal, play your game kind of the way things. That's why we did Manufactio, because Manufactio was... Um, you know, Factorio in Minecraft and why I'm doing compact claustrophobia because that is Minecraft in a compact machine. And I think I just looked at that dude maybe. And this one is starting us in the end and we're going to get to use all kinds of magic and fun stuff to try to get out of the end. So I guess, guys, uh, we will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.